Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about the VV model, verification and validation model. See, as we discussed in each SDLC model, there are six subphases, requirement, analysis, design, coding, testing, delivery and maintenance. But in the previous models like waterfall model or uh, spiral model, we have seen each completion of each phase, then only we are moving to the next phase. So that the because of verification technique is not there, that is the reason all the mistakes are moving from one phase to the other phase. So finally, we are identifying all those gaps in testing phase. To overcome this, for stable requirements projects, the suitable model is VV model verification and validation model. So if you observe this uh, diagram, in the left side verification will be there, right side validation is there, e phases are there, requirements, analysis, design, coding, these all are testings. Okay. In the VV model, the development and the testing those both the teams are will be there in the project right from beginning of the project. Why? Because we need to identify the gaps early of the project. In that phase only we need to identify if any gaps are there in the requirements, if any gaps are there in the design, if any gaps are there in the analysis phase. So that is the reason the develop parallel to the development phase the testers also will involve so that the mistakes will not move from one phase to the other phase. That is the advantage in the VV model. And also previous models there is no verification technique queue, whereas in this model verification technique will be there, reviews, walkthroughs, inspections will be there and we are going to identify the gaps early of the project so that the defects will not move to the testing phase so that the stability of the entire application will be more. Please observe this diagram. So, verification phase. First phase is requirement. Parallel to the requirement phase, what testers are doing? UAT related test cases and scenarios we are going to prepare. User acceptance testing related scenarios and test cases we are going to prepare. So, if any gaps are there in the requirement, easily we will identify it in UAT phase. While the UAT people are writing the scenarios and test cases, if they come across any requirement is not clear or requirement is wrongly updated or client is expecting something else and requirement is telling something else, so easily we can identify if at all any gaps in requirements phase. Parallelly, if at all we are doing in UAT related scenarios and test cases. Okay. So next, once requirement phase is completed, next we are entering into the analysis phase. In the analysis phase, what exactly we are doing? Feasibility study we are doing, selection of technology and environment we are doing and what else we are doing? Uh, reverse KT documents we are preparing, team building we are doing and, uh, and uh, like we are giving updates to the client, how, how much part of the requirements we understood and how much is pending. If any clarifications will be there, those clarifications we are going to get it from the client. So these are all the things going to happen in analysis phase. Parallel to the analysis phase, the testing people will be preparing their system testing related scenarios and test cases. Already we have seen in the levels of testing, what is system testing? System testing is something like testing the entire application on various platforms various operating systems, various browsers, various hardware configurations, software configurations. So that is something like system testing. So parallel to the analysis phase, the testing people will be involving and they are preparing their system testing related scenarios and test cases. Okay, analysis phase is completed. Very good. Next we are moving to the designing phase. In the designing phase, Usually the development people will prepare their architecture of the entire application and all. So similarly, the testing people are involving and they are preparing their integration related scenarios and test cases. If at all they come across anything which is deviating 
easily they will update to the development team if at all any clarifications will be there directly they will send a mail to the ba if ba is not clarified again we will get the inputs from the client okay design phase is completed next coding phase development people will start developing the programmable statements so those programs parallelly once if at all they completed anything the development people only will do the unit testing already we have seen in the uh, white box testing levels so unit testing will be done by the development team so all these phases are parallel parallel to the development phases testing people also involving and they are preparing their scenarios and test cases now you may get a doubt here what is the advantage of parallelly the testing people are involving the advantage is the mistakes in any phase will not there may be a less chance to move to the other phase if requirement something is missing some requirement is not documented properly or our understanding is wrong if at all we are doing uat related scenarios at that time we are analyzing the requirements if something is wrong or something is deviating immediately we will catch and update to the corresponding team that is the advantage in the previous models we have seen that there is no verification technique and testing people are involving at the end of the project at the end of the coding so these are all the drawbacks in those models to overcome all those the stabilized model is vv model verification and validation these are all phases okay testing people are involving that is fine and one more thing in this model is happening is requirement phase again there may be a reviews each and every document each and everything we are doing reviews will be there walk throughs will be there inspections will be there so if at all we are doing all these things obviously obviously there is very less chance to move the mistakes from one phase to other phase that is the advantage of the vv model why they named it as a vv model it is a verification and it is a validation fine parallel to all these phases testing people are involving we are preparing our scenarios and test cases very good next how the flow of the vv model will go on is requirements is completed analysis is completed and then designing will be completed and then coding will be completed once coding is completed next the flow will go on here development people will do the unit testing and then they will give it to the testing team testing team will start with the module level testing usually those all i mean in this diagram is not there so module level integration level system level uat and production pre production and production like this is the way it is going to happen in vv model the advantages what are all the advantages in vv model each and everything we are going to cross check by the testing team if testing team is cross checking easily we will identify the gaps in that phase itself only very less chance will be there to the move the mistakes from one phase to other phase that is the advantage in the vv model next testing team is involving beginning of the project deviations and the requirements side easily we can identify and if at all testing people are involving right from beginning of the project testing team will give assurance to the client yes we are going on right track to deliver the right product to you each and everything we are validating each and everything we are verifying so that is how the testing team will give assurance to the client saying that we are going to deliver you 100% quality product to you that is the advantage in the vv model next coming to the drawbacks coming to the drawbacks in the vv model stable requirements are required for this model if requirements are not stable what will happen once coding is completed client changed the requirements again here also we need to start from beginning requirements analysis design coding testing so if at all you want to go with vv model the requirements should be stable enough to continue with the all the phases and more budget is required this model why because all the teams are involving in the project right from beginning of the project okay right from beginning of the project 
all the teams are involving all the teams in the sense development team testing team rtx team db team services team all the teams are involving right from beginning of the project that is the reason more budget is required for this model so this is something like vv model verification and validation model so when compared to waterfall and spiral what is the advantage here in this model verification technique will be there testing team is involving in each phase of the project that is the reason easily we will identify the mistakes or gaps or deviations in the early phase of the project so that so we can give assurance to the client we are going to give you 100% quality product to you we will give at least assurance to him we are going to deliver right product to him so this is about the vv model verification and validation model so coming to this model what are all the questions they may ask in the interview so the questions said what is verification verification is something like static testing reviews walkthroughs inspections will be there we are going to verify each and every document whether it is correct or not what is validation validation is something like actual testing whatever the scenarios test cases we prepared parallel to the development phases all those scenarios and test cases we are going to execute on the application once we get the code from the development team that is something like validation and what is the advantage of the vv model advantage is verification technique will be there right from beginning of the project early detection of the bugs will be there in this model so that we will give assurance to the client we are going to deliver right product to him in on time coming to the disadvantages side more budget is required for this model and stable requirements are required for this model so these are all the questions they may ask you in the interview what is verification what is validation how the process in the vv model how the flow of the vv model will goes on parallel to the development phases how the testing phases are going on uh, parallel to the uh, requirement what we are doing analysis what we are doing designing what we are doing coding what we are doing these all things they may ask you in the interview i hope vv model is clear to you thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you